This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. This week in the Spotlight, the Affordable Care Act. I'm David Naylor with commentary. Two scheduled votes on Trump care in the House of Representatives was canceled this week due to the fact the Republicans did not have enough votes to send their version of the Affordable Care Act to the Senate. The repeal and replacement of what is commonly called Obamacare is not going as planned. Or was there ever a real plan? It seems for seven years some politicians shouted at the top of their lungs about how much they wanted to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act but most were not specific about what they would replace it with. At this moment, the Republicans have control of the House, the Senate, and President Trump is a Republican. Still, they have not found the common ground to pass the first version of their Affordable Care Act, and the revised version of their act did not change enough minds to make this bill go to the Senate. The truth is, Republican House members have been overwhelmed with phone calls from their constituents, instructing them to vote no on this bill. Some Congress members have reported a 10 to 1 ratio against the passing of this bill. Let's keep it real. Some politicians were truly representing their constituents, and others were concerned about being voted out of office in the upcoming midterm elections. It appears calling your politicians and voting still matters. Once again, our leaders have found a way to divide Americans across economic lines. Here's what I mean. If you have a relatively good job that pays well, you will have access to fairly good health care. The millions of other Americans that are not in this group, well, you go figure it out. Unfortunately, health care costs are out of control and will affect everybody's well-being. It's time we stand together and demand our representatives in Congress offer all Americans the same health care plan they have. And if you want to buy a different plan, then exercise your freedom of choice. It's time people like you and me attempt to control the narrative. Every time we talk about affordable health care, you should say, I want the same plan my senator has. Case closed. Comment and share on this video so others will join us in shaping the future debate on affordable health care. For In the Spotlight, I'm David Naylor. Join me in the coming weeks for a new show I'm producing called I'm David Naylor, Here's What I Think. Thank you for listening to this week's In the Spotlight. Don't forget to check out the news for last Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you soon.